Hola, hola, gente. Ya estamos de nuevo aquí en la habitación de Max. Oh, Max y Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier, Bresson, Toyno, Hamilton, the greatest. Mm -hmm. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> bueno, continuamos la historia de Max. I'm glad Esta Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Ah, el copyright que va a saltar otra vez, ya verás. Ah, vale, no, la paro con la B cuando quiera, vale. Vale. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <laughs> vale. Y ya está, ¿no? Bueno, pues vamos a por el, el pendrive, que por cierto, a ver, bueno, esto no. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Vamos a la habitación de Dana. A por el pendrive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Bitch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? 
You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is oh yes, Max. Stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Juliet, extreme reporter. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Seguro que es. Victoria. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Royor de Chatis. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I 
I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I get. Data takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Es una gran fan de los Blackwell. Bigfoot. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. This is both sad and pathetic. Negativo. Me oh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? Logan. And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. <clears throat> I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect.
Mais oui. Mensaje de Warren. <ríe> Qué bueno. Fuck this shit. Ow. That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Menudo gilipollas. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Rachel me debe pasta. Now that's what I call instant karma. More. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Quizá tendríamos que haber tomado una fotografía. No, es que no sé, con estos juegos que toman, tienen, que todas las decisiones tienen influencia, nunca se sabe, ¿verdad? ¡Ay, la ardilleta! I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Bueno, vamos a darle el pendrive a Warren. Come on over here, please. And there's Warren. Did he actually? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. 
It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me, worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Esta es la chica del... Don't give del me the guilty baño. face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. <laughs> it was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still <laughs> smart ass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. 
How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Bueno, pues sabemos un poquito más de Max, ¿no? Que era originalmente de aquí. No son cosas que se me han ido pasando a mí. No sé. Yo tendríamos que haber hablado con Juliet, yo creo, antes de hablar con Borren. Pero bueno. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. A ver si se guarda y lo dejamos aquí Efectivamente, a ver... Paun. Pues aquí lo vamos a dejar Un vídeo más de este pedazo de juego Life is Strange Que la verdad es que tiene una pinta bastante interesante Una premisa bastante... Curioso la de volver atrás en el tiempo rollo eh, The Sands of Time del Prince of Persia, ¿verdad? Pero en una aventura gráfica. <ríe> en fin, eh, un placer como siempre traer, la... traer un vídeo más al canal. Espero que os lo estéis pasando genial y nos vemos siempre que vosotros queráis en el próximo vídeo. Chao, chao.